Hi everyone, this is the second graph on your graphing data task, your, your graphing practice test. Um, the first thing that you should probably check is, did you draw a line graph or a bar graph? This one should have been a line graph because it's continuous data um, over time. If you did a bar graph, that's okay, just deduct one mark off yourself, um, but it, it should have been um, a line graph. The first spot, the first place that you probably began with your graph is either the axes or the title. Um, so the title for mine is 2017 Rainfall. Yours might be slightly different. That's okay, just as long as it makes sense within the context of your graph. The second thing you probably would have done is drawn your axes. Okay, so making sure to always use a ruler when you're graphing. Uh, my Y axis has got my rainfall in millimeters okay and you'll notice that they're evenly spaced from each other and you can only achieve that using a ruler and each increment is also the same so i'm going up by tens each and every time which you also need to do my x-axis has got my months and you might have written yours uh, sideways and that's okay just as long as you've got months on the x-axis and once again, each month is evenly spaced away from each other. Um, labels, so I've labeled my x-axis as month. Uh, you might have labeled yours as maybe uh, maybe time, and you can give yourself a mark for that as well. But I labeled mine as month. Uh, for the y-axis, I've got rainfall millimeters. So in order to get the full mark here, you must also include millimeters. If you just have rainfall without the millimeters, give yourself half a mark, 0 0.5 marks. But if you've got both, you can give yourself a full mark. For the graph itself, so check that it's a line graph. Um, if it's not a line graph, uh, take off one mark, so five goes down to four. And then from here, you just need to double check that each of your points lines up very accurately to the Y axis spot. Um, it's a bit tricky without having graphing paper. Um, I did the best that I could. I actually used two rulers to try to get it as accurate as I could. So I lined up the ruler on the month and then I'll just swap hands for a moment. And then I used a second ruler uh, to line up with the y axis. Um, and this was the best I could I could manage. It's a bit easier if you have graphing paper to work with as well. We're breaking down the mark, so one mark for some kind of title that makes sense, one mark for the label for the x-axis, in this case I've done month, one mark for evenly spaced months, one mark for evenly spaced and equal increments in rainfall, okay, so mine is going up by tens. One mark for the y-axis label, rainfall in millimeters, only half a mark if you've just got rainfall. And then five marks for a line graph, deduct one mark if you've done a bar graph, um, and deduct one mark each time your point is not accurately meeting uh, where it needs to be on the y-axis. And that's it. So it's worth a total of 10 marks.